to reinforce all that new rotation we're coming back to the shin box position one of my favorites we're going to get a kettlebell so it's going to force me to posture up here so i can't collapse and oftentimes when we give our athletes a resistance to hold on to it forces them to posture up and their hips spin a little bit better because now they have to use stabilizers around the back spine and pelvis they can't use those rotators or hip flexors to help stabilize their, their back and their pelvis. So we're gonna get nice and tall. I'm gonna press the feet into the floor so it's not just a passive rotation of the hip. So I'm pushing the foot in, deep rotators are coming up, opposite way, okay? And then we can pop up into our kneeling position, watch that back foot, make sure it spins under, don't crank it, don't let it turn out, it's gonna crank into the knee, slowly lower down. Watch the breathing. If you want to get creative, we can do some halos. This is going to help open up the shoulders as well. Increase thoracic extension. Around one way, back the other way, and come on back down. We can also go straight into this position. We go into our rainbow bridges. Instead of a band coming across our hips, we go here and we're using that weight to facilitate stability up above as we wiper and pivot those hips around the pelvis.